Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. The classic tractor fever cameras were rolling as Keith Schnarr got the surprise of a lifetime. Surprise. What? You get a tractor on classic tractor fever or calendar. I do? Yeah. <laughs> when did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Keith had no idea until this moment that one of his tractors was going to be featured on the classic tractor fever calendar. I said, well, let's see if we can make this a surprise and just not tell Dad. So we uh, worked it out when he was gone one weekend. We got the calendar shots for it, and this morning uh, they showed up to do the video, and we kind of surprised Dad. He didn't know anything about it when he walked in that he's going to be on the calendar, and he's pretty excited. It took a little bit of work. They needed me to take a picture of my grandpa, the headshot to put in the calendar. And so I told them that I was doing a school project and I needed his picture and he believed me. So I got the picture for that. And then one weekend when he was gone, we took pictures of his tractor. And now we're here and we're taking the video and it's pretty amazing. So which of Keith's classics made the cut? It's this 1960 John Deere 630. This tractor marked the end of a production era dating back 25 years. Internally, the engine and powertrain are identical to the Model A, which later became the 60, then the 620, and finally the 630. You could buy a 630 in a couple of different versions, but there weren't as many built with a standard front end like Keith's. It's also not a style of tractor you usually find on farms around this part of the country. The standards mostly went to the, either to the western wheat area or to the Canadian prairies. It's a strange tractor, especially in the Midwest. You know, they don't see the standard as often as he row crops, so it's kind of neat to talk about it. You got the south front end, it's a little more compact. You got the big dust fenders and that's where they used out. And it's tricky just for pulling, it doesn't have a three point, it just got hydraulic. It wasn't designed for a row crop. I just like two uh, standard tractors because they're they're kind of they're different in this area. Most in this area is all row crop, so I wanted something different, and so I like the standard collection. The 630's horizontal two-cylinder engine produced 48 horsepower at the PTO and 44 at the draw bar. It was advertised as a four-plow tractor with the power to handle heavy loads continuously at speeds that would cut days off a farmer's work calendar. It's fun, it's got a nice sound to the motor, it, it's got power steering, it steers easy. For uh, the farmers in Missouri, especially at that time, it was a big tractor to them. It runs real good and that it, 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 in fact, this tractor has won several slow tractor races. It can, I can idle it down to about 235 RPMs. Deere redesigned the instrument panel on the 630 to improve visibility, while the slanted steering wheel was at a more comfortable angle for the driver. The tractor had a new paint scheme, with the yellow on the sides running all the way to the bottom of the hood. 630s also came with low-tone oval mufflers, special fenders, and lower-profile tires. These new features helped hide the fact that big changes were coming to John Deere. They'd done a few cosmetic changes and, and to the 30 series, and, and I guess really part of it was to uh, keep people thinking they were still coming out with the two cylinders so they could keep working on their new generation tractors in, in secret. That's right, while dealers were selling 630s in the fall of 1960, the new 3010s and 4010s were on the test grounds at the University of Nebraska. So this tractor was one of the last of its kind. This is the last of the uh, two cylinder tractors. 1960 is the last year they produced a 630 and the very, very part of the year. Then they introduced the new generation tractors, which was your 4010 and 3010, and they went away from the two-cylinder to the, to the four-cylinders or six-cylinders. They were working on it for several years, and they kept it really quiet. They'd done a good job of hiding the secret until they were ready to introduce it. Keith's collection has expanded enough over the years to require a new building to store his tractors, complete with green and yellow barn quilt above the main door. I loved sharing my tractors with people, and that, in fact, that's why I bought, built this new building to store them in. If somebody wants to come by and look at them, they're welcome to look at them. Collecting John Deere tractors is a hobby that runs through three generations of the Schnarr family. His son Darren puts emphasis on new generation models, while the grandchildren have restored tractors as 4-H projects. Dad bought a new 40 tractor, John Deere, when I was in high school, and that's what I learned to drive. And 
And then we've been with pretty much John Deere's ever since then. We just enjoy them and, and uh, going to places and going to sales and going to shows and, and talking about them. Definitely have the fever for classic tractor fever. There's a lot of tractors around here. I think it's pretty neat. You know, we, we uh, you know, get to work on something together once in a while, so it, it works out pretty good. When all three of us are together and we talk about tractors, it gets pretty interesting because we don't all have the same views on the tractors. My grandpa likes more of the standards, my dad likes more of the new generation stuff, and I like the more rare tractors. And when we put all that together, we can come up with pretty interesting things when we start talking. It was just a year ago that Classic Tractor Fever highlighted Brooks' John Deere 1010 Industrial. Now there are two calendar quality classics in the Schnarr family. I feel fantastic about it. And, uh, my granddaughter had one uh, last year, and, and uh, I really, I'm proud to have one on the counter. That's fantastic. 